Welcome to Ask Dr. Tom. We connect with Dr. Tom to talk about all things health and wellness, cancer treatment, etc. This is Ask Dr. Tom with Dr. Thomas Incladon. He's the founder and CEO of Causenta Wellness and the Causenta Cancer Treatment Center in Scottsdale, Arizona. From working with NFL, MLB, MMA, world-class athletes, and even the White House, Dr. Tom's reputation of personalized medicine and cutting-edge technologies have put him on the map for caring for some of the most powerful people in the world, making him one of the most sought-after healthcare professionals of our time. There's uh, there are guys and, and women out there that are like, yeah, I you know even if my insurance doesn't cover this, I know I've got money, I've got resources, I work my butt off, and why wouldn't I do this? I can afford it. What, what do they? What do you call that? Is there like a name for that? That you like if they're going to call up Cosento or they're going to go to the website or something? Is there just like a name? Hey, oh, Doctor Tom, I want the the basic, you know the the super wash or whatever is there. Yeah, they could say uh, the Cosenta Comprehensive Initial Assessment. And uh, basically, we would do this the first time. And then the follow-up, like later on, if we're going to do some follow-up testing, we just call it a follow-up. And uh, the first panel includes all kinds of genetic tests. And then, this, then after that, none of the other panels need to do the genetic tests because it's not going to change. Yeah. Um, so there's more than just dietary assessments in there there's more than just what you should be eating and things there's other tests embedded in that yeah there's amazing things so one is all kinds of markers for damage to the brain Ooh. so uh it'll tell you if you have a likelihood of getting parkinson's alzheimer's like this is uh sort of like autoimmune stuff happening at a very low level in the brain that's stuff that everybody should know and then hopefully they want to fix it because um you know, it's one of those things, if you got something going on now, it's only going to get worse unless you do something about it. Yeah. It includes all kinds of uh, mycotoxins and all kinds of other chemicals from the environment. It's going to tell you if you have BPA or if you have glyphosate or any of these other dangerous chemicals in you. And of course, once we know it's there, then we can look at a strategy of eliminating it and then monitoring you to make sure it's coming down, like the levels are going down in your body. Uh, we find... Um, you know, we, we work with a lot of people with very serious issues here. And recently I found a number of women with breast cancer that had all kinds of estrogenic chemicals in their body. And those, uh, you know, those chemicals, it's, it's scary because uh, they are known carcinogens. So we know that these chemicals in women can cause breast cancer. Every single woman says my oncologist doesn't know what to do with this information. So what's happening right now in medicine is we have, um, you know, we have, we have an ability to measure things faster and more accurately than ever in history. And it's happening faster than physicians have time to get educated or updated or even know what to do. So it's like, hey, there's a problem, but I don't know how to fix it. And, that, and that's the scary part right now is we're learning stuff way faster. So what I hope to accomplish this year is we've been working on growing our database of solutions so that now as we uncover these chemicals in people's bodies, we're increasing, you know, the number of strategies that actually work to eliminate them. Okay. So, so if there's a person out there, you've got the resources, you got the money, you're worth it. You know that you're ready to do this and you want to get uh, that, those, that comprehensive assessment done. It would probably, it sounds to me like it would help if you also have the mindset that you're going to act on the information afterward. <laughs> you're not just going to shelve it or throw it in the drawer later and be like, well, I mean, why bother going through that if you're not prepared to then try and treat or fix or address the things that you can, right? That's the natural second step to that, isn't it? Yeah. And that's a really good point you brought up. I, I see this a lot of times where, um, um, I'm seeing because people read a lot of stuff on the internet, they have a philosophy that they develop. And so they'll read something like this drug can harm you or this thing is bad. And they don't consider that the person that wrote the article had an agenda, mm -hmm. you know? So it's kind of like, I'm going to point out all the dangers of this option because what, I, what they really want is for you to choose another option that they make money from selling, but it's not so clearly stated, right? So it's kind of like, you know, like, hey, don't eat red meat because red meat will kill you. And then naturally now you're still looking for other options and now you're buying this meat substitute 
where maybe there's no long-term data on that. So we don't even know how is that going to affect you, you know, that kind of thing. And so um, what happens then is uh, people say, uh, let me get tested. You test them. And there could be a really simple solution that could, you know, end their suffering quickly and uh, fairly inexpensively. But because they read something on the Internet, they won't do it. And they'll actually drag things out and spend way more money and time suffering than they need to. And so that's one of the dangers of people reading stuff on the Internet and thinking now they're an expert in, in a topic because they don't have the context and the experience over time to kind of see, wait a minute, there's another way of looking at this that you're not seeing. Right. So if you're an action taker on your health, I mean, obviously anybody can end up getting the assessment and and uh, get the, the results, but it makes the most sense for action takers that are willing and able and have the mindset of, okay, let's see what's going on in my body and then let's take the steps to maximize how we can improve it by whatever steps possible. So that to me seems like the right person, the, the ideal person that would say, yes, I want to get the cause into comprehensive assessment. And, you know, I'm not really worried about if my PPO or HMO or whatever covers it um, mm -hmm. because you just want to get after it. And, and I think a lot of times we, we hold ourselves back on this stuff. You've talked about this before where it's like, mm -hmm. You know, what, what do you work so hard for? <laughs> you know, like mm -hmm. you'll spend this kind of money on a vehicle or on a vacation or whatever it is. And mm -hmm. then when it comes to getting a panel or in a test where you could actually see what your body is doing and isn't doing and what you should put in the tank or not, you know, why wouldn't you do that? Sure. Yeah, I've, I've been doing these um, pretty extensive panels now on myself for a long time, um, basically every January and June. And uh, the joke is um, my largest medical file is my own because yeah. I got all this stuff that we've measured, but we've um, we've learned so much and we've uncovered so many things. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it, you you are like um, David Banner and Tony Stark kind of wrapped into one. You get to do this stuff mm -hmm. on yourself. Why wouldn't you? And that's what I would say to people that have, you know, again, these people that are already working and doing well and, and have – the, um, resources to do this, these things for yourself, a lot of times we'll be like, oh, well, I won't do it because it's not covered by insurance. And it's like, well, but do you have the money and are you worth it? And I think the answer for everybody is that they're worth it. Then the next question is, is do you have the resources? And, you know, we're in the United States of America. A lot of people have those resources. So if you're interested in that, um, and, and I think that you probably should be, you go to causenta.com, C-A-U-S-E-N-T-A.com. And uh, just click on, you can call the office directly or you can submit uh, via the, you know, the website and submit and say, hey, I want this uh, cause into comprehensive assessment and I want to get the panel. I want to know what I should be eating. I want to know how it's reacting in my body. I want the full deal here. And then you get started. And boy, I mean, I can only imagine. I know, and, and we're not going to say them, but I know some of these people that come into your facility there these athletes and these, you know, C-level executives, and some of them are media stars and they come in there and they change their life. So you have the opportunity to do that. If you're hearing this, C-A-U-S-E-N-T-A.com, or, um, I guess we could give out a phone number too, right? There's, um, I don't have it. This is the one time I didn't pull it up in front of me. What would be the best number for them to call? Sure. It's 480-883-7240. Four eight zero eight eight three seven two four zero seven two four zero, and uh, that's how simple it is. Now, for people that uh, let's say they're not in Scottsdale, Arizona, or they're traveling, or they have a, a rigorous schedule, they can still work with you and get this stuff done, and they can go to a specific location remotely, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. We could do a lot of stuff. Um, we have options of doing things through like Skype and Zoom, phone call. Perfect. Uh, Dr. Tom and uh, Ask Dr. Tom is, uh, if you have a question for Dr. Tom, you should get it in at AskDrTom.com. And this was a good episode. We started with the, the coronavirus and we ended up with how you can really take the initiative. I, I think that's kind of what I was getting at in the beginning. It's like people really want to get wrapped up in some of this stuff where they're like, oh, crap, I got to run out and get surgical masks. Mm -hmm. When you don't need to waste your money necessarily on a surgical mask to prevent a disease that's, you know, on the other side of the planet 
and maybe wouldn't even affect you. But there are many things that you can do proactively to help your body right now. And Dr. Tom and the people and the team at Causenta can help you do that. And it starts with that assessment, which is just hugely powerful. Anything else uh, you'd like to leave people with on this episode of Ask Dr. Tom? Dr. Tom. Um, one thing I'll say is uh, I'm super excited about uh, we got these new um, exercise system that we're developing some protocols uh, that pretty soon I hope to uh, share that with everyone. It's um, It looks like it has an ac amazing application for treating uh, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, other neurological conditions like ALS and stroke and even cancer. And uh, so it's really exciting to think that we're actually going to be able to help people move their way to healthier brains and uh, disease-free bodies. That sounds great. <laughs> that sounds like something everything everybody can get behind. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. So I'm asked all the time by patients, what's the difference between personalized medicine and traditional medicine? And in traditional medicine, there's a singular approach. So you have cancer A, and for cancer A, here is the standard of care treatment. And after you go through the standard of care treatment and it doesn't work, Typically, there's not a plan B. There's not another option. So then patients are told, hey, there's nothing else that can be done. And so then they're convinced that, hey, there's no hope and we can't do anything else. Now, I want to contrast that in a personalized approach that we have at Causenta. We're going to measure all kinds of details within your body. And we're going to find lots of areas that we can actually improve your health and then indirectly by improving those areas, we're gonna help you do a better job at fighting cancer. So where someone else would say, hey, there's nothing that could be done, we're gonna say, hey, there's lots of opportunity here to improve your health and make sure that you have a better quality of life so that you're able to function and, and live life under your own terms and not just waste away in a bed in hospice somewhere and watch everything go by you as, as time passes on. So if you or a loved one has been diagnosed with cancer and you're looking to get help, I strongly encourage you to go to causenta.com and fill out the form at the bottom of the page and find out for yourself how we can help you.